Roller Coaster Tycoon is too easy. The numerous setups in the freeform building mechanic make you feel like every idea you have is a good one. However, and I can't believe I'm saying this, I don't need validation today. I want a challenge. So today we're going to find out if you can win Roller Coaster Tycoon using my real life favorite ride, the pirate ship. Normally in Roller Coaster Tycoon, you build off of whatever theme has been given to you. But since I'm traveling to uncharted waters, I'm going to have to demolish what's here and start from scratch, which is a nice way of saying I'm turning a very lucrative business into something that is borderline repulsive, which if you've seen any of my live streams before, you know is pretty on brand for me. Using only pirate ships, I need a park that has 1300 guests after three years with a park rating of 600. Let the games begin. Right at the beginning, something I learned as an unintended benefit of destroying the hard work of those that came before you is that you can easily accrue a lot of cash. Since in this challenge I couldn't charge per ride, the only funds I had were coming from admission. So I had to get working right away to build as many attractions as possible. We'll name the first pirate ship Shiver Me Timbers. You know, with a winky face. You get it, you get it, it's sexual, you get it. Davy Jones side piece, perfect. Is that how you spell piece? P-I-E-C-E? Uh-oh. I before E except after C? If it's spelled wrong, it's because I'm quirky. Something, something scurvy. There we go. Once those rides were up, I built some places to eat. Since we're sticking with the nautical theme, I named the bathroom the poop deck, and I've never been more proud of a decision in my life. At this point, I noticed I was hemorrhaging money, and so began the mad dash to fit as many people in this park as possible. This actually might work in our favor if I can continue to get people just to filter in because there's new rides this might be the best tactic actually well mm, let me let me make the park before i say that now this is the part of the stream where admittedly i went a little ham on the names for rides cloister my oyster booty plunderer let's do it spelunking <laughs> wait let's the spelunker full of semen moby thick love it Love it. That's very good. Hi, gay C's. <laughs> That's such a good name. Nut. Get it? Wooden ships. A dumb ride for little stinkers. Wouldn't you like to sit down? Jack Sparrow's large deck. Is there two R's in Sparrow? Mm hmm This is where my reading comprehension really, really fails me. The investors in my park are going to be extremely upset when they find out everything about this park is exceedingly homoerotic. Or honestly, they might be, they might be, uh, thrilled. Could go either way, really. The <laughs> first mates, coochie, grudge. Listen, before everyone grasps their pearls about how I named one of my rides the first mate's coochie cruncher, just know that it was immediately the most popular attraction in the park. So don't blame me, blame society. On a separate note though, while I was naming my rides, I decided to do a little experiment. I named one ship a ride for folks with big peen. And right next to it, I built a ride for folks with small peen. And after looking at the stats, it turns out a ride for folks with big peen is more popular, meaning people with large penises like my parks. Sorry, can't argue with hard evidence. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, moving on. It wasn't all penises and rainbows because my rum drinking pirate ass was about to have a very sobering moment. Park received award for being the worst food in the country? Excuse me. Excuse me. Am I a joke to these people? They don't want the seawater stall? They don't they don't they don't want to eat at the crusty crab? It's not my fault these people don't have taste. What? They don't want to they don't want to <laughs> They don't want to drink at Yoho soda? The Blackbeard's kitchen for sauce. <laughs> That's a fair point. I see, I see their point, I see it. Why is there so much vomit on the floor? Jamil July, welcome. Welcome to the party. You're just in time to watch my employees do fucking nothing. Three handymen for an entire park? There's not that, I'm sorry. If your job is to just walk around a park and sweep up vomit, I, I don't think your job is that hard. They get paid, they get paid $50 a month to do that. That's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's that insane. Ah, oh, full of semen broke down. Okay, we're having a hard time. It's not called roller coaster everybody's best friends and we all support each other. It's called roller coaster tycoon. Why is the park rating dropping so much? Why is it dropping? 
Why is it dropping? My anti-union rant was probably heard by some of the folks in the park because my rating began to drop faster than people can drop their pants from eating my award-winning, apparently terrible theme park food. Another thing I learned on this stream is that I'm a coward. When the labor union of custodians stopped working, I folded immediately and began hiring as many employees as possible. I may have let things slide for a little too long. I, I admit, I might be the problem. Can people not go to the bathroom to throw up? Is that so hard? What happened to that? What happened to going to the bathroom so you can vom? Like, what? what is this? Uh, there is trouble in paradise because everyone's throwing up on my floor and I don't have enough employees to sustain the cleanup. There is not enough wood chips on the planet to cover the vomit on the floor. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's August. Oh no. Oh boy. But of course it gets worse because I noticed that the mechanics weren't getting to their inspections. There were so many broken rides it looked like a departing flight in Southwest. And this is when I discovered the problem. Turns out there's an entire underground that <gasps> I couldn't see or monitor. Look at how much trash is under there. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's so much vo- Ugh. And it was slowly becoming an irrigated sewer of vom. The guests in my park were blowing chunks faster than any of my employees could clean them up. Just to give you an idea of the chaos we're dealing with here, I was able to witness a park guest throw up and without hesitation, promptly get back into another line. Now, if I was a less mature person, I would have drowned them for revenge, but I'm better than that. I'm kidding. I absolutely tried to drown them. But it turns out you can't pick up an NPC when they're in a queue, so that little telltale rat was able to slither out of my grasp. Everything is falling apart. Everything is falling apart. We can't be doing this. I have 1,400 guests in the park, which is more than enough, but the rating is abysmal. So this game has just turned into Operation Clean Up the Streets. But the clock is ticking because I only have one month before the time is up. We're going ham. We are going so so fucking ham, I don't even care anymore. We will get this rating up if it's if it means that every single person in this park is an employee that works for me and is here to clean up this fucking mess. Dumb little ride for little stinkers is wildly popular. Look how many people are in that queue. You have too many pirate rides? I don't think that's true. I think you have too many pirate rides. I might have too many pirate rides. First mate's coochie cruncher? No! I don't know why the world has turned on me so suddenly. I am the bringer of light. I am a nice person who doesn't deserve hatred, and everyone's just being super mean. Cheryl's doing great. Look at that. 18 people in the queue. My goodness. Justin, my ass is broken down. Okay. Why is he not headed to the bathroom right now? Look at where he is. On the opposite side of the park from where the bathrooms are. This is the problem. <laughs> it's not worth it. Can I just sell my park now? I don't want this. I don't want this life. I didn't think this was gonna be the problem. When I set out to build a park that was made of only pirate ships, I didn't think vomit was gonna be my biggest issue here. Call me Delulu. I really didn't think this was gonna be something we'd be dealing with. Oh my god, it's October. <laughs> this sucks. This sucks. I'm freaking out. This sucks. This sucks. Um, what else can we do? There's there's bathrooms everywhere. And now what? I need people to be happy right now. Benches, benches. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Ooh, it is fucking close, bitch. Sit down, you idiots. Sit down, everyone. Here you go. Here's some places to sit down. Do you like that? <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, everyone. There you go. Yeah, look. Look how fun I am. I'm so cool. I'm such a cool guy who loves cool things and loves it when people sit down and doesn't throw up on my floor. I love that. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing when people don't throw up on my floor. So please be courteous of my favorite thing. I would like to win this. It's going up. It's going up. This is so nerve wracking. <gasps> okay, we're on the right path. Oh my gosh. It is. <laughs> we have less than a month. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey. Okay. All right. All right. What's next? What's next? I just got to keep cleaning things. People know where to shit. People know where to throw their trash. People know where to do things. I just need this to, I just need everyone to hold down the fort for five seconds. I need everyone to really be a team player here. I need a, I need a lot of team players. This is happening. This is happening. Pleasure pirate pilgrimage full of semen is broken down. All my rides are breaking down. I'm so sweaty right now. I am so incredibly sweaty. The approval rating drops 
so fast. And just like that, with a park rating of 611, I was able to squeeze by with a win. That's right, baby! Uh, it may not be the cleanest park, but it is clean enough, and that's good enough for me. Let me just say, I had a ton of fun with this challenge. I had a blast building the park with the chat. And if you have any ideas of what game I should play or how I should play it next, comment down below. As always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, that explains why my rating is so low. I would, I should have drowned these people. I should have drowned these people when I began. I'm not gonna go on daddy's lap while it's raining. I can't believe that many people are thinking that. That's not, that's not dedication. We need more people that are dedicated to the cause. I'm so sorry for being a popular, bustling spot where people like to be. This park is clean and tidy. I don't know where they, I don't know where they were uh, an hour ago when I was getting awards for being the most disgusting park on the planet, but daddy's lap was great. Dumb ride for little stinkers was great. See, people love, if you're, if you're honest with people, if you're authentic with them, this path is disgusting, fuck off. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't, th ignore that, ignore that. They don't know what they're talking about. Let's see what the most popular ride was. Davy Jones side piece. Oh, people love being a piece on the side. Love that. Cloister My Oyster is really popular. Plunder Party. Just in my ass. We got a lot of bottoms here. <laughs> oh my god, I hate it here. Get me out of this place.